Hello, scrappers. Back again. Yeah, I'm a little bit late on uh, my videos. It's been a busy, busy week. <clears throat> Wife went in for cataract surgery Tuesday, and she's not allowed to bend over, so I've been in the house helping her out a lot. And she's cooking, helping her put stuff in and out of the oven, help do <clears throat> put the stuff from the wash machine to the dryer and out of the dryer, so she's not allowed to bend over. She goes back in to the doctor Tuesday. Everything's looking good. And she goes in Tuesday morning, <clears throat> bright and early. <clears throat> and uh, excuse me. And then I think after that she might be able to bend over, but then they'll schedule her for her left eye. <coughs> and we'll go through it all again. They've been getting a lot of rain, and rain's supposed to come in again Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so yeah, happy days. And then uh, sometime after Tuesday, they'll probably schedule her for the next surgery which will be a week or two later which is all good right now because I'm not I think since my ad came out on the first I've only had two calls so I'm still just working on other stuff around the yard I'm trying to find stuff that I haven't just done videos of and uh, Worked on that lawnmower a little bit the other day. We got the mowing deck off of it since it was bad. And then when I brought up here from the, my lawnmower graveyard, I uh, had another Cub Cadet with, the, with a 50 inch deck just like it. So, but it's in good shape. So I took it off and then I have it out there. And then I went ahead and just uh, pulled parts off of it and got it completely parted out and ready to go onto the tra scrap trailer. So, <clears throat> and we got a couple pieces of cast aluminum there. Yeah, I thought I'd do an electric motor. And I got a couple others here. It's got copper in it, so I thought I might uh, go ahead and clean them up while I'm doing this. After I knock the ends off of that, see you can't hardly get in there to cut them windings off. So what I do, if you got earbuds in, go ahead and turn your volume down real quick. I'm going to fire up the angle grinder. to do on these I get my box knife with that hook blade and just cut the strings cut the strings back just as this one tape this tape here and tape there and then just kind of give the things a little jerk, which this one here, the wire comes all the way over to this little metal piece. Yeah, I'm going to do cut that thing off of there and that will go in my shred bucket. The rest of these I just cut the, cut the bare wires and that will go into my wire barrel. So I just have a toad in here for now with it. But now that one's ready to cut down. Some guys will put these in a vise maybe and cut one side with a sawzall and that works. I use I like using an angle grinder. 
I guess some guys on the big ones, they'll use that uh, seven inch angle grinder. And that's getting serious there. Now on these, these are different. Sometimes they're bolted together and not much problem. This has got little tabs that are bent over. So, got two little pry bars here. One of these should work. Now you could just take a, a grinder and hit that on a, you know, with the angle grinder. Let me try the little bitty one. I don't know if I can get a better bite on it. It's pretty stubborn. There it bent up. Stubborn to get started. Once they start, they bend pretty easy. Looks like about four of them. Yes, I've been busy running them, running, taking care of the wife, and then playing taxi driver for other family members. And then uh, Blanchard is having their townwide yard sale and May Day's carnival right now this weekend. So we've been out doing some yard sailing. Got some fishing equipment, so that, my wife wants to get me away from scrapping for a few days and go out and do some fishing. This that was something I took her did here last week, week before. It was went up to the city Department of Wildlife and uh, got her lifetime fishing license. Yeah, it's having trouble tying that apart, so we're getting a screwdriver in there so that I'll just knock it out that way. It's more than one way, right? Now sometimes getting this off can be a challenge too, but the easiest way, angle grinder again. Make a cut about anywhere. Basically, it's a relief cut and uh, just takes the pressure off of this. If you want, you can get a screwdriver down in here and kind of pry it apart a little bit if you try to. And that comes out pretty simple. Pretty easy. In there again, cut the strings. Get a zip tie there. Time you get the strings cut on this one side, you're almost all the way around on it. Okay, now I'll go ahead and clean these up real quick. Usually just pry these ends off, get the metal out of there. Then I'll take a screwdriver and just get all this junk out of it. Now we still have a little 
metal sleeve, steel sleeve inside of there we got to get. I got a trash can right here, so yeah, I'm not dumping this on the floor. And I still got this piece here. That's set in there pretty good, so I'll show you how I deal with that. So when it came off of so I usually just set that down in there and that knocked that right off. Yeah, hang on to the punch, I'm gonna need it here in a minute. Yeah, I finished cleaning that stuff out of there. Just a few pieces left in there. Yeah, I got a pretty good little pile of small motors down here if I need to clean up, but it seems like I've always got I never get the pile totally cleaned up. I'll get it worked down and then then add to it, then work it down, then add to it. Now, I don't have the metal sleeve in this one. So this one's clean and good to go. This one still has that metal sleeve, so what I do is just put it right up on top of the the stator. Take my punch and go right on the edge. And knock it right on out of there. So those two are cleaned up. Turn on the scale here real quick. And see I'm done. Kind of done with this stuff chiseling and, and all that good stuff. I assume you guys are wondering how that tire jack stuff is working out. I haven't been out there, but and from here the, mo the tire I put it in is on the far side from me, but it looks like it's still aired up. So I imagine it is. I need to get some, order some more of that so I have it for some wheelbarrows and uh, tires on my trailer. Okay, so now I'm going to cut the end off of this, cut the end off of this one, and now I'll go down to the two little ones. Yeah, play your ears. Pull your earbuds out or turn it down. Okay, what I like to do on these, since there's no wires on it, or string on there to hold it together, because a lot of time you try to cut this right now like this, everything goes everywhere. So, and of course I don't see any blue tape right here. I must have used it in the other room or out in the fifth wheel. I'll go see if it's in here. Yeah. Looks like his duct tape's getting old. I just 
to wrap some tape around it. Kind of hold it together and keep it from going everywhere. First time I used duct tape, so should work just fine. Got a piece of plastic there, get them off of there. Here we go. Yeah, well, I was up yard sailing the other day, ran into a subscriber that lives fairly close by. So that was kind of exciting, talking to him. Okay, I got to pause the camera now, turn on the compressor, and okay, I am back. So now I get us a bucket. Yeah, ice cream buckets work good. These little things always have all these little plastic pieces on there. I'm thinking I didn't buy a whole lot of yard sale. I bought a, did buy a pair of vice grips for five dollars. Not that I really needed them. I got about six pair in here, but that way it won't hurt to have a pair to throw out in the truck. And I need to put one in the other truck. thing about doing maybe doing some GR, GRMS general mobile radio service videos in case any of you guys are interested in that kind of stuff of course with cell phones nowadays you don't hardly need to have communication radios I got a new antenna for my handheld it puts out five watts of power and 
there's a repeater up on the north side of Oklahoma City up by the Capitol and as the crow flies I think it's about 28 miles from here and with the rubber ducky antenna on that thing <coughs> I could not reach out and hit the repeater but I could hook that mobile it's got a removable antenna so I could hook it up in the truck or put it on the base station antenna and hit that repeater So I got a question myself, why can I hit, I mean same radio, I said why can I hit it in the truck but not with the rubber duck antenna, so you know, it's really a no brainer, well it's the antenna. So I ordered a Nagaya, N-A-G-O-Y-A, it's a 771 model and uh, has two decibels of gain, or 2.15 decibels of gain, and that's what the truck antenna has, but it's a Midland antenna. <clears throat> so I got it in the other day and stood out here in the backyard and did a radio check, and someone re responded, and uh, talking with them over the repeater, so I thought, hey, that's pretty good, I got 28 miles with that thing. Of course I heard the repeater, I heard the antenna on that repeater is up 300 feet on the tower. I think that's a heck of a radio tower, it's up 300 feet. But I was kind of impressed I was able to reach out that far. Yeah, cutting all these strings is a lot of fun. Some people say they just take it to the angle grinder or run the angle grinder over it or bench grinder, or whatever, and cut the strings. That's probably what I should be doing. I might do it on one of these others. And like I said, on this one, this is the one that had no strings, but I still need to kind of go around this edge get all those plastic pieces off of there from those insulators. You might be able to do that easier from the inside. But, uh, you know, as far as for like prepping and stuff like that, it's good to have a backup communication system for your family. GR GRMS is actually kind of family orientated. Uh, cost $35 for the license to operate it, to talk on it, but there's no test involved, and that $35 covers, it's for, well, for 10 years and it covers your immediate family, your children, parents, probably grandparents, cousins, in-laws, so it'd be great for summer outings, if you do hiking, uh, a lot of four-wheeler clubs use the GM, GRMS radios. I know BTEC has a, uh, the, I think it's a BTEC Pro, does, has Bluetooth, so I think you can hook it up to a Bluetooth headset or something. And uh, so it'd be hands free operation if you, you know, if, if you wanted to put, say, if you rode a motorcycle, say, so even motorcycle clubs could probably get in on it. be able to talk as you're riding down the road. They have what they call privacy tones, but the privacy tones kind of a little confusing in a way. A lot of people think they can set these privacy tones and they're on a private frequency or something, but really they're not. 
other people can hear you. It's just the the, free, the privacy tones block out other people, so you don't hear them. So. I'm just wondering, wondering on that though, if you both key up at the same time, does, does it go through or are you interrupting their conversations or not? Yeah. I'm not sure about all that. So. Hadn't really looked in much into that because I, I don't really plan on using it, so on that part. Let's say my wife and I get out fishing, and I want to. She, she'll fish from one spot since she can't walk around too good, <clears throat> and I may want to walk. Who knows where? Trying out different spots, so this way we can still communicate. She can always call me and brag about the fish she caught. A lot of you guys might already have some of them radios that are FRS, Family Radio Service, from Walmart, Bass Pro, different sporting goods. They basically share the same frequencies as GMRS, except the Family Radio Service is maxed out at 2 watts of power. The GMRS on channels, I think, 1 through 5, which are 2 watt for it, family radio service it's five watts for the GMRS and I think everything from seven or channel eight to 14 I think all of that is uh, no matter what radio you're cut down to half a watt on those channels but with GMRS from 15 to 22 you can use up to up to 50 watts of power. I didn't want to move at first. I said, man. found out, oh, I guess last week or something like that, because sitting in the house a lot, close, not, you know, where the wife needed me, I was right there. But I found out uh, that they make some little amplifiers for the handheld GMRS radios, and uh, your radio is basically like a preamp, so if you're putting out uh, one guy put it, put it on a power meter on a video, and uh, I think it's call it a 40 watt amplifier, but it'll, it'll put you out anywhere from depends on how much input power you got going in. But with his 5 watt Ocean 905G, which is what I have, I have an 805 and a 905, he was pushing 37 watts with that amp. And uh, I got plans to get me one here down the road in two, three months. Right now I'm looking to order a good six decibel gain antenna for my truck. They say for every three decibels, it, uh, I still got a bunch of copper in there yet. For every three decibels, it kind of doubles your power, they say. at the tip of the antenna so if that's the case I should have roughly close to 20 watts coming out just just with that antenna and when I put, get one of those little amplifiers and I'll tell them what it'll put out
put this in my short iron bucket over here. Yeah, here, probably next week I'll probably order me a new SWR meter for GMRS and uh, a dummy load and then I want to order that mobile antenna and a mount okay we'll go ahead and get this big one here out of the way and then I'll get back into these over here So, try to hang on to those because sometimes that air chisel will send them flying across the room. They notice I'm doing short bursts of air. And it'll get into a plastic. clean. They're getting not life size taken care of right now. She's surprised how much better she can see. We've been together over 40 years. She's always wore thick glasses. And now she's wearing a pair of, like, I think, 2.75 dollar store glasses, reading glasses. So she's pretty surprised. She's happy. Of course she got a bad back and they made her lay flat on her back on the operating table and she came back she was hurting she said it's not worth it it's not worth it but now I think she's kind of anxious to go in and get the second eye done so. and then after that <laughs> dentist It's starting to fill up. Get a little bit of weight in there. Yeah, this stuff here will make a mess in a in a hurry. Real fine wires.
Yeah, sometimes I get some of these like this. One side comes out and the other doesn't. And then what I do is kind of try to bend it over. And it usually works out pretty good. If not, then I get the channel lock and pry it out. Yeah, for me the air chisel works really good. Some guys say they don't like the impact on their elbow, which I don't have tennis elbow or anything, so it doesn't bother me. Most scrappers are pretty young anyway, and they're probably 20s, 30s. <laughs> There's a few of us old timers out here. I was kind of thinking about that while I was waiting for the compressor to catch up. How a lot of these new guys, they try to scrap for a living. The young guys, I should say young, not new. Some of them do pretty good at it. But you got to start somewhere. So a lot of times it's just driving around trying to find what you can on the street. Street scrapping. And a lot of people do that. And a lot of people like watching those videos because it's amazing sometimes what people throw away. So that's where the street scrapping videos do good. A lot of people are, you know, kind of like mini storage auctions. Hey, right, let's see what we got for a weight. <clears throat> My wife likes watching that storage wars and stuff like that. Six pounds, 12.7 ounces. So six and three quarter ounces. About three dollars a pound right now. So right at about twenty dollars there. Not too shabby. Like I said, I just scrap for mad money, not for a living. I'm getting a pretty good little copper hoard built up. Video, enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Share, like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You guys know the works. So we'll see you guys in the next video. You take care and happy scrapping.